everyone this is the future Anina here talking because um, I filmed a little clip uh, yesterday when I was doing a Christmas mustard and I thought that I'd explain a little bit before you see the clip so um, I don't know if that's something um, you would do in other countries or, or even in Finland in other families but it's always been a tradition in my family. My mom always makes Christmas mustard because we have ham uh, on Christmas Eve and um, or over the Christmas uh, period and and mustard is something that we put on it and um, my mom usually makes this sweet uh, Christmas mustard and me and my husband we have tweaked the recipe or we wanted to have like an uh, alternative so uh, we are making this whiskey mustard so that's what you will see me doing next Uh, I will link the, the recipe or the ingredients down in the de description if you are interested because it's not a uh, ready-made recipe. We have uh, used um, a recipe as a base, but the scribble you saw uh, me looking the recipe from was one page of, uh, of like a calendar, a uh, wall calendar. So it was 2018 Christmas or December page. So that's when we started uh, making our whiskey mustard. And um, yeah, so it's, it's something that we have tried to do a couple of times and we've tweaked it. And um, I will put, I made um, the basic patch triple, uh, like a triple batch because I wanted to make small jars, four small jars, so that I can give give some uh, to my family as well. So, so I will put that down in the description.
Now let's uh, move on for uh, day 11 or 12, which is the date it is today. I think it's the 12th, 12th, um, 12th of December. And today is Tuesday and I'm home because our um, family sickness situation evolved. And um, instead of having one sick family member, we have three. And my boys were both uh, feverish and also my husband. And when one of them is already uh, without fever, my my youngest and my husband, uh, they both have high fever last night and yesterday. So I didn't want to leave the kids with my husband today because he was he had like a 39 degrees fever last night and he he's resting and he doesn't feel very well. So I stayed with the boys today. So there is still some daylight. I will be going to my uh, community college this evening to teach my knitting class. Uh, it's uh, I have two classes and it's the last time for for the first class today. So we have a little Christmas celebration and I think we are. I have to go and get some uh, candy or something to to bring so that we can enjoy our last last time uh, together this year. So that's what I'm doing this evening. And now I thought that I would show you a little bit what I have been doing since I've been home for the last three days. I will show my advent socks first. I already did today's stripe. Um, so this is where we're at. Today's stripe was this raspberry. And you, you can probably see that they are looking a bit funny. I have done the heels in opposite, um, opposite sides and there's a reason for it. Um, I'm weaving in my ends as I go and I want the weaved bit to be behind the angle. It's not the most even. So you can see a little bumpiness here and I want it to be behind my ankle and that's why I I do have these both here in different ways. So this is my first sock and so I started with the heel so that everything is always on the back of the sock. So that's what I've been doing. For tomorrow, did I bring them or did I not? I didn't. I have to, well, I will take a picture and you will see the color options for tomorrow because you get to vote again. So I ended up choosing, choosing uh, the blue for the heels, but I also did one day uh, because I had enough and I feel like the heel looks much better if, uh, if the picking up has been uh, done with the same color. So uh, day 10 and day 11 were, were the blue blue so I I didn't ask the public opinion for that but now we will continue until the end or I don't know I may have to I don't know how much I need for the toe so I may have to see if I have options for for that or not but those are my oh I have a candle on the table so let's not <laughs> let's not burn the house down um, you can probably hear some cartoons uh, on the on our living room. Boys are watching watching something, and um, I hope you can't hear all the coughing and everything. But that's that's just reality at the moment. Um, I showed my other sock project last time, and I managed to finish one sock which was nearly done. I'm very orangey today. I'm wearing my Tanka uh, sweater, which is a design of mine uh, from this fall. And I just happen to love this color. And since I have my knitting glass today, I, I wanted to wear something, something hand knit. So anyway, uh, I finished the sock and I started a second one. 
not very exciting i think but this will be a gift knit so i'll just work on those soon i will be adding this very floppy yeah. floppy skein that i have uh, i've been working from in and out so it's very loose loose um skein um I didn't end up needing the natural white that I was talking about last time. I had, I think I had like less than a meter left uh, when I finished the toe. So that was perfect. I just used two scraps as a whole. So this orange and the other one. So they have both given me a pair of socks and now uh, it's a third, third pair and it's a DK, DK pair. So the next thing that I've been working on really, uh, or not really, but like I've been working on this sweater. I've shown it, I think in every single episode. And um, I thought that I would have enough of the orange to finish it off, but um, I had to play it safe because it looked like I was running out. So I just have, this much of the orange. Uh, so I took one of these very orangey browns to combine. And I do have a little nugget because they were two, two um, of the same color, different base. Here on this, this stripe. So I cut out uh, when I had when I had 39 grams of this and the other one uh, as a whole, because this was 39 grams, um, I started using this and I will then finish, finish with the orange and the little bit brown color. It looks quite funny on the camera, but maybe you can pick up the, the fade. So there is this fade happening here. How will I be able to show you? I think you can see it quite well. So I have faded from yellow to orange, uh, from two different oranges to a set of another set of two oranges. And now I have the brown and the orange. And this is where I was, um, no, here. This is where I was last time. And here I have another marker. I placed it here yesterday because I was measuring it and I needed 10 more centimeters from this marker, which is very close now. So I will be working on this. I actually did all the ends last night when I was, when I was um, knitting. I, felt a bit bored and I ended up sewing in all the ends so that when it's done, I just have that one end and that's it. You maybe saw a little clip from yesterday when I was with the boys and um, they were coloring and they wanted me to sit next to them. I started a hat. I'm not using a specific pattern. Um, I think I'm mimicking the Oslo hat, which I don't have a pattern for but I just used a stitch cam that I know that works or should work. I did um, a provisional cast on straight on the, to the tube or um, stitch holder. And I'm using 4.5 millimeter needles, uh, 96 stitches, and um, it should give a hat that fits my husband. He asked for a warmer hat because it's been quite cold and he doesn't have have um, a hand knit hat that is so warm. So um, I think this triple folded prim would give the great coverage. And since I'm using this for the Stella quilt cushion, which I also actually have worked on, I managed to do the backing until halfway and then I didn't want to go and read the instructions so um i had two balls of this charisma left so that should give me a hat and um those were the projects that i've been working on 
and I will just quickly show you the colors from yesterday from my advent calendar from by Gami Jonet. Look at that. How amazing. And this is very much me color. And then today we got this beautiful, beautiful plush with some orange green. And if you want to see the inspiration behind these colors, um, Camila is actually also doing Vlogmas and I am, <laughs> I am watching her Vlogmas nearly every day or maybe two episodes a day if I don't have the time. And she is showing the paintings that are the inspiration for these, for these uh, skeins. So I would highly recommend checking out Camila's um, podcast or vlog, Vlogtober, non Vlogtober Vlogmas. And um, yeah, it's been so great to see see all the paintings because I'm too lazy to look them up myself. So it's very handy because she's always showing them. And someone asked which Vlogmas is I am watching. And um, I'm watching every day um, Kay, the crazy sock lady. And um, Laura Pendrose is some someone I'm watching. And um, I also watch the Playful Knitter. And um, I'm still a little bit behind, so I need to watch. I watch Camilla. And um, I've watched a few episodes of the By the Lake side. And... Um, yeah, those were the things that I am watching and enjoying very much. And um, I hope you enjoy this festive season with all, all the videos um, as well. This was the chatty bit of today's episode. And um, I don't think I will get too much footage today. So I will end this video with some clips from, from my knit group or not knit group, my... Um, um, knitting class and um, I will come back to you tomorrow. I have a little self-care day tomorrow even though my uh, son is still not going. Uh, the older is fine, he doesn't have fever anymore so he will go to his daycare tomorrow but uh, the young one is staying with my husband and um, I have uh, a beauty appointment in the morning and then I will go and do my nails because they are very outgrown. <laughs> very elegant. Um, they are very outgrown and I will do some... Uh, so the, I'm just doing the gel nails and uh, it's just um, this gel polish on my own, own nails. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And then I have a Christmas lunch which is hosted by uh, the community college. So they invited me to this Christmas lunch so that I, um, I hope that I can manage to go there as well. But that's for tomorrow and this uh, will end here. And um, yeah, I will come back to you tomorrow. Bye. What a feeling. Now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer they're all fine but I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come Yeah, let it come See the 
snowflakes fall. I can hear the sleigh bells call. They're saying it's time to.